See, we didn't even need the monsters. But again, this isn't an accurate scale of how of the difficulty because again, I'm like way overpowered. <laughs> uh oh, he looks. Um. Yeah. I don't understand. Who are you? The question is, who the hell are you? I'm the Juggernaut, bitch. Oh crap, he oh wow, he's just beating the crap out of him. It's enough and he'll stop it. <laughs> wow. <coughs> now, um Yeah, he doesn't kill Magnar, because Magnar what? does show up later. What did I do? Wait, what? So apparently Emil does not have any recollection of what just happened. So maybe this... So yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, yeah. We're gonna go ahead... I'm gonna go ahead and put these two on. Actually, screw that. I'm putting on... Uh, that and Sky Attack. And I'm also gonna put on Recover. Basically, Sky Attack 1 lets you use certain base arts in midair. Um, Sky Attack 2 lets you use certain arcane arts in midair. However, we usually won't ha wouldn't have those for a while. Um, the base arts you can use in midair, you can use Demon Fang, ra you can, or rather the ones you can't use. Uh, these three, you can't use those in midair. Um, and yeah, those are the only ones you can't use in midair. For arcane arts, you can't use Quake Assault, Raging Thrust, uh, Sword Rain Alpha, Light Spear Cannon, Swallow Fury, um, Dual Death, or, or rather, okay, the ones, the Arcane Arts you can use in midair, uh, Heavenly Tempest, uh, Dark Radiance, uh, Raging Heaven, uh, and Roaring Tiger. The ones that you'll see me use the most, though, are Heavenly Tempest and Raging Heaven. In particular, Heavenly Tempest. Because a lot of the arcane arts are just, like, combinations of the other base arts. Like, Heavenly Tempest is is basically Phoenix Rush with, like, a Tempest-like spin attack afterwards. Um, uh, Roaring Tiger has the... Like, Roaring Tiger, Conversion Fury, Swallow Fury, they all have, like, a, like a dash. Um... Roaring Tiger has that dash, then followed by basically a Phoenix Rush, and then Raining Fangs. But again, I'll, I'll show off all these later. So next we'll be talking about that right now. Get, uh, where do I have to go? Okay, shock about it. Um, yeah, let's see if we can go over here. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Remember these guys? Yeah, they didn't run away. Whoa, hey! How, how are you? You doing good? We're pretty busy, so, uh... Their tones certainly change. Yeah, it's not like we're afraid of you or anything. And now they're putting their feet in their mouth. Oh. Both the Vanguard and the Martell Knights have left town. The mayor wants to talk to you. Will you come? We might as well talk to him. Again, I, I'll always be on your side. That's a promise. So cheer up, okay? Thanks, Marta. Okay then. Um, okay, no more skits. Hey, there's um Alba and Flora. Emil and Flora. Get away from 
us, you monster! How could you? No, it's a... Okay, seriously, that's just mean. I'm a fucking monster. You've apparently never heard of terrorists. Emil, thank you for coming. I have a favor people that to just ask commit you. mass genocide for no reason. They're a mon those people would be monsters. What sort of favor? But enough about uh, politics. I want you to go find Lloyd for me. Is yes, it, we are is going to set out on a grand to quest to find Lloyd. No. How hard could it be? He's got a red jumpsuit here. and the twin Lloyd swords. How many people? Allow this kind of how many people have Lloyd, that kind of outfit even on? on? Orders from the church. But uh, I didn't believe what you said about Paul Macosta until today. Oh sure, nobody ever but believes what you say it until it's that too the late. Same thing almost happened to our town. I'm just not sure what to believe anymore. Mayor, it doesn't take much for people to change. Like me. That may be which is exactly why I want you to investigate this. Why Lord this will be your like redemption? He did, and okay. why he's looking for Ratatosk and the Centurion's corps. Yeah, Lloyd's like a uh, like a completely different person. So this is how you plan to protect Emil from the fear of the townspeople. The people of our town are easily frightened. Please forgive them. But I believe this is for your own good. Keep that in mind that Lloyd seems like a completely different person. I'll look for Lloyd. And then I will avenge my parents. I understand. I Emil our town may be full of people who fear. I know it may sound hard to believe now, but I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Emil, thank you for saving Lewin. Okay, now that I plugged in my laptop, um. Now, I don't know if you can actually read much of the text, because uh, when I was looking back on uh, my previous recording, some of the text seemed kind of small. And I can already tell this is going to be a very long Let's Play. I've already had an hour of recording uh, last night, and then tonight, Emil, this recording is just about at 51 minutes right now. journey is to find the Centurion's course and wake up Rata so Lloyd is our common enemy since we share the same objective it but you also made a pact with Ratatosk as a knight right mm -hmm. and Ratatosk is stuck on me so that means you have to protect me it's stuck on you as I told you before except Lady it's Marta, not looking for Matt you. Damon or I forgot who the other guy was. She wanted the boy who saved her back in Palma Costa. You to be a knight of Ratatosk. A boy? I'm, Emil's got a wait. No, Emil's a, a JRPG hero, so that means he's seventeen. So please. It's partly my fault that these. That's, that seems to be like a decent age. Like Let us the go with standard, you. the typical JRPG hero is like seventeen or eighteen. Especially in like Tales series games, always underage. I really don't remember meeting you before. Which is why Tales of Vesperio is nice because Yuri Lowell, uh, the main character, was actually okay, a bit older and more mature it. than than uh, a normal like JRPG uh, hero. He was uh, 21. You think I'm? And brave? you could actually tell throughout the game that he like was that. he was a bit his character was a bit darker than normal. He did no, you actually really murder that. people in cold you blood. I want to go with you. We can start off as friends, right? Of course, I don't mind being more than friends. See what I mean? <clears throat> She's very forward with it. 
Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. And there's that flashback again. That's what the third or fourth time already. What? Oh, it's nothing. <clears throat> Why don't we get going? You see, he knows what he's talking about. Right. Just like me, he okay. wears glasses. That automatically means he knows what he's talking about. He knows his shit. Okay, Marta rejoined the party. Now let's get the hell out of here and go to Asgard. Actually, you know what? We're going to save Asgard for next time because I believe that that is the start of the next chapter. Um, so yeah, next time on Let's Play Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World, we're going to head to Asgard. So yeah, uh, this has been GT. Uh, if you like the video, you can subscribe. Use the yellow button in the upper right. Yeah. Ah, you the, click the yellow button to subscribe. Um, and thank you all for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.